All right, so now you have a radical, and uh, I want to interact with the objects within my 3D world. So the next thing is you need to ask Unity to listen to some of the event, and the event is when the circle or radical touch this objects, I want to do something. Or I can check other events is when uh, the radical just move okay, away from this object, you can set uh, another event trigger. So if you want to set this, you need to add a event system to your scene. And you go back to the assets, and this time you search GVR event, and you will see this prefab again, and this is called the GVR event system. And you just will need to place this, okay, along the scene on the root level, and uh, it will allow your Unity to trigger or listen to a certain event. And the most important event, of course, is where the radical touch something. I want to do something using C sharp. So next, you need to identify which object you want to be interact when your users look at or the radical touch it. So for example, I just have a cube here, so you can set the trigger for this cube. So you select the cube, and you can go to the inspector, and this time you need to add an event system for this, or event trigger for this cube. So you go to the add component again, and uh, you click it, and you can select a event system. So I just uh, click a event trigger, and this will allow you to set which event you want to be triggered, and you can add some new event. For example, you can set the pointer enter. So the pointer enters mean when the radical touch this object, and you can do something. Pointer exit is when your radical move away from this object. You can do another C sharp script. Pointer down mean you need to make sure the ob radical is touch this objects at the same times the user press the button on top of your cardboard. This we call button down. Button up is when the people or the user release the finger. Pointer click is you press and release and then you do it once. So that's all this pointer event is provided by Google Cardboard SDK. So I just, for example, add pointer enter. I want to see something happen or exit. I want to do something. So now I just have an empty list here, but I already have a event trigger. And even you don't have any C sharp, you can still preview the game and you can see the radical if you touched this cube, you will see, okay, the circle will become bigger. All right, when you move away, you can see the radical will turn back to a circle. Now it's ring, it's a circle. So this is a very basic indicator for the user. Now you can interact with this. And the next video, I will show you some C sharp code that you can change something when the user press the button.